previously on the Southern Charm Season 9 reunion. I think I'm gonna perform the first ever f boy exorcism. Jesus. Craig has some colorful sexual fetishes. <laughs> well, I don't mind light bondage. Do you have a fan? <laughs> Shelby on Twitter said, I feel those, not classy. After hearing about your sexual situation with him, no, maybe you needed up. it more. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put one in Ship's mouth real quick? I'm at a crossroads. Bravo Khan was sort of the impetus. Well, what happened is you were blackout all weekend. Yes. This road that you're on ends with a cliff. I can't be in that car anymore. During the bar crawl. Can we agree that he was lying? Were you lying? Uh, I was bending the truth. Yeah, he's not bending the truth. He's full of shit. JT, you have I'm telling the truth. Me. It's so weird. You have lied so many f***ing times to my face. I'm just saying, Olivia, forgive as you want to be forgiven. The implication there is that she's done something. To a friend. Go ahead and say it. I already see what you're trying oh, to it's do. It's already no, no, been no, out there. You've been hanging on this over my what? head. I'm, I want to see it. The yeah. whole Thomas situation. Thomas Rabinell. Had a hookup, dumb, drunken night, one time, and she's the only person I told on earth about that. And here you are sitting there you know. chomping at the bit to use it against me. I have not been chomping at the bit. Not middle. only have you proven yourself to be a friend, you're a human too. We're going to leave it there. We are going to take a break. Can you imagine? Tonight, the Southern Charm reunion continues. Silence is golden right now. Thank you. You don't need to coach up on anything, but thank you. Excellent. What's up, Jamie? How are we doing? Good, good to see you. I am. Hi. Hi there. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. I take all these layers off. I like a big onion right now. She's still sitting there trying to like turn it to where I'm doing something wrong, like bringing up stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about today. Nothing. The only reason why she's bringing that stuff up is to like throw something at me because she's got herself in such a shit position. I just don't think that this friendship is salvageable. I was this close to not getting on the plane and coming up here. This close. You're letting like become something that drives a wedge between them. Calling Olivia out for a T-Rab is not like a fix him But I think the Shep and you thing is interesting. Why don't you say what is it about us? Because you say it didn't bother you about Taylor, but you have a problem with me. You know, it's almost like, you know, when I was like, I was like, dude, I'm like your best friend in you know, this room. And he doesn't feel like he that. doesn't. So just ask him what his problem is. I think a lot of other people talking about, yeah, about you know. and my shit, which is so annoying. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna look at Andy and be like, dude, can you put a muzzle on this fing Will you, you, you consider like, hey, it's disruptive? What I miss? I mean, awesome. He's so arrogant. He's just an idiot and a liar. Yeah. And Shep just needs to roar, you know, and get it. Just get it. Like, it's like, get it out. Yeah. Madison, I'm not against you. You told me to shut up. Because you were making fun of my sexual I prowess. Get it I mean, out that's yet. nothing. Oh man, well. Uh, I, am, I have my own set of problems. Please, I don't want to get in any. Well, yet, okay? listen, let's not. And I've got a lot to say to a lot of people. Okay. We, we don't have a problem. I hope not. Yeah, I'll go there. <laughs> so let's not. I actually have a bone to pick with everybody. You'd be like, why didn't you motherfuckers tell me my hair was messed up half the <laughs> season? <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, let me take everybody back in their seats, please. All right, guys, we're going to give them two minutes for last looks, and then we'll clear a set to get chat. Oh, look at this. I was trying to give the girls shape. All right, guys, two minutes, two minutes for any last hey, looks. Hey, friend. How are you? Hi, baby. I wish I had seen what he was saying a year ago when he told me something off with her in the first place. I know, you know. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. About to send it to Andy. We're taking a selfie. Don't worry. Five, four, three, two... Welcome back to the Southern Charm Season 9 Reunion. I'm Andy Cohen. I want to welcome Rod and Rodrigo, who join us now. Welcome to the party. What did you call it, JT? <laughs> Boy exorcism? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Rodrigo, you're the one guy on the panel who's been in 
the longest relationship. From your perspective, why do men in Charleston have such a hard time settling down? You know, Charleston is a college town and it's also a big tourist destination. So it's kind of a rotating platter of girls coming in and out of town. Temptation so Island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I feel like for a lot of these guys in Charleston, they a new shiny thing every other second and they can't control themselves. <laughs> Fair assessment? Yes. Yes. We got a lot of positive comments about the possibility of Olivia and Rod getting together. Olivia, the man, got you gluten-free bread. <laughs> Don't let this one go. They had gluten-free? I looked it up. I went to the past to get your bread. And I dropped it off. You're lying. I had to go to two spots. Are you serious? <laughs> Wow, I think Rod and Olivia are so sweet together. Thank God for Rod watching Austin and Olivia together made zero sense. Olivia, what's your reaction to that? I mean, I love it because when, when we do hang out, it's so much fun and really was just timing that like wasn't on our side. But I also know that whatever happens with us like romantically, that we'll be good afterwards because he is just such a gentleman and there's no like ego issues or insecurities. And that's how I know we would be able to like move forward together. And I feel like we, we're getting there. Um, Vanita, you said you liked Rod for Olivia. Why do you think they're a good match? Rod is just a very sweet gentleman, and Olivia needs someone next to her that's going to take care of her very, very well. And he, out of the bunch, would do that the best for her. So I was excited for them to maybe work. But Rod, what attracted you to Olivia? Smart, funny, fun, beautiful, you know, a lot of, a lot of good you. things. Olivia, we got a lot of comments about your bra. So I'm out with a good girlfriend of mine that Austin has been on a couple of dates here and there. She tells me she went over there. And in the morning, she goes downstairs and there's a bra on the ottoman. 